that is my pleasure to bring Chip Anderson, president of Stock Charts, back in. Chip, I know uh, you've been in here talking about the uh, ACP before, the advanced charting platform here at Stock Charts. And I know that there are a lot of exciting changes. And this is one of the biggest things that probably has happened at Stock Charts over the last 20 years. I mean, this is a major introduction. So I think everybody's really excited to see what you have to show today. Terrific. Thanks, Tom. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to show it. Uh, we've been working hard on it. I mentioned it about a month ago, and I'm, I'm back here with another report on our progress and the, and the features that we've added. I do want to take 10 seconds just to mention that there are other things going on at Stock Church besides ACP. Uh, we have uh, continued to move most of our data center up into the cloud, and that, pro that project continues uh, and actually should be wrapping up over the next month or so. Very, very exciting there, but that's all behind the scenes stuff. I want to uh, focus on ACP because it's, it's what you can use, uh, what everyone can use now. We've made ACP now available to all of our members. If you log into your account as a member and go to the dashboard, you will see the green go to Ch Stock Charts ACP button here. So this is how you get to our new platform. And just, just to give, every, uh, if you're new to this, I want to make sure I, I reiterate these things. Um, we have two charting platforms now. We have the Sharp Charts charting platform that we've always had, which Tom and Mary Ellen were just showing a second ago. Those are server-based charts. They're statically generated, um, and they will continue. That platform is not going away. Let me re-emphasize this, because we get uh, emails from people who are very concerned. We are not getting rid of uh, Sharp Charts at all. It will continue to go from now until the end of time. Uh, we are adding to your toolkit with Stock Charts ACP. If you don't like ACP for whatever reason, you can continue to use Sharp Charts no problem. If you don't, if you like ACP, you don't like Sharp Charts, you can move over. If you want to use both, which is actually what I recommend, then that's the you can do that too. There is absolutely no removal of functionality from Stock Charts because of this new ACP platform. What does what does ACP stand for? That's another thing I wanted to mention real quick. It stands for Advanced Charting Platform. And the P in platform is super important. We are already talking to several uh, key uh, uh, plug-in vendors, people who can create additional indicators or additional displays and bring them into the Stock Charts ACP platform above and beyond the stuff that we provide. That's really, really exciting stuff. I'm hoping in the next month or so, I'll be able to start to show you some of those um, tools and demos and things. It's, it's very exciting there. But anyway, let's get back to the basics. So when you click on Stock Charts ACP, you'll see this screen here. Again, just reminding you that we're not getting rid of sharp charts. Also reminding you that um, this, is, this is still in the midst of uh, development. We are still in the process of adding features to it. Not all the features are here. We will have, as close as we can make it, parity with all the features that sharp charts has. If there's a feature in Sharp Charts, it will probably be a feature in ACP. We believe ACP will actually be able to go above and beyond Sharp Charts in some ways, and we believe that Sharp Charts ultimately will, will benefit from that. But anyway, I just wanted to quickly uh, re reassure again everybody that that's happening. Here's ACP. ACP is all about interactivity. If you want interactivity in your charts, you want to be able to scroll your chart with your mouse. I'm just clicking and dragging here. Um, this is what ACP provides at its core. Um, I'm now using my mouse wheel and I'm, and I'm able to zoom out and I can zoom right back in. I can scroll around. I can do, a, I can uh, take a particular panel and make it bigger. I can make it smaller. There's a whole lot of interactivity here that is kind of direct, uh, use of the mouse mainly. Um, to, to manipulate the chart and reach in the chart. And there are some times where this is super important to people, and so that's why we're providing ACP. There are other times where this isn't, and that's why we provide sharp charts. So keeping that in mind, uh, just one final thing. If you, if you have scrolled out and you move your chart around and you do a bunch of stuff, you always have a little button down here called the reset button. Uh, you can use the, the other two buttons here to move forward and backwards one bar at a time, but you can also use the reset button down here to get right back to the beginning, get everything reset again, and now you're able to watch the right edge of the chart. Um, up at the top, above the chart, you have a symbol box where you can change symbols. You have a type box where you can change the type of chart. You have a period box where you can change the period of the bars. And for instance, we can zoom in here to one minute. And there we see our one minute bars for uh, the Dow uh, today. And we see the time frames down here. You can also change the duration this way. If you want to change your duration to a set duration, you'll use this drop down. Otherwise, you can use what I was showing you a minute ago, your mouse, to, to zoom in 
and zoom out. So if we want to see the Dow year to date, there we go. And that's going to be a daily chart. I can then again change that into a one minute chart, so on and so forth. Now, over on the left side is the indicator panel. It's also the, the chart uh, manipulation panel. So this is the, this, these are a set of panels. We see there's um, indicators. I can click here, now I see chart attributes. I can click again, now I see color schemes, and I can click one more time, and I see annotations. So these are the four panels that allow you to change the look of your, of your chart. The most important one is the indicators panel. It's gonna show you which um, indicators you have on your chart, and it's gonna allow you to move those indicators around, add, and, and delete them. Um, the indicator panel here now, it, it's changed recently. This is one of the features I wanted to show you. And it allows you, it, it kind of mimics the, what you see on the chart. So in this chart, we have RSI up top. We have a bunch of stuff on our price panel, including two moving averages. And then down below, we have the MACD indicator. We see that same thing reflected here in the indicator panel in terms of the selected indicators. So I can take, for instance, I can take my RSI and I can drag it down here. I've just clicked and, and dragged the RSI from the top above down below. And now we see that's reflected in the chart here as well. So that's, that's an important thing. I can add additional indicators by opening up this panel, scrolling to the indicator that I want. Let's say I want to add, oh, I don't know, the ease of movement indicator. I click and now the ease of movement indicator is now here. It's appeared below my chart. I have the ability to move it higher if I want. And then I have the ability to delete it if I don't want. See, I've got the, um, the trash can icon here for deletion. I can also delete it in a couple other ways, but with the trash can icon here is going to be a, a major way that I can do that. Now, um, I'm going to put the RSI back up top just so it looks more like what you're, what you're, what everyone sees when they first pull it up. Now I want to point, I want to pull everyone's attention over here to the triangles. So the triangles uh, hint at the new feature that I want to show, uh, the biggest new feature that I want to show today. There are two ways that you can manipulate and change the parameters of uh, your indicators. One is by clicking on the indicator name itself, and then you pull up a dialog box here, and you can type in your period, and you can change the, the title and all this other stuff. So that's, that's great, but you're kind of doing it in a, in a modal way. As you're making the changes, you're not seeing them, and you have to type in a different period each time. If you want a more interactive way of doing things, and remember, Stock Charts ACP is all about interactivity, um, then instead of clicking on the indicator name, you can click on the little triangle here. And the little triangle off to the right of your selected indicator gives you then what we call the, uh, the quick settings or the fast settings for, this, for each of these indicators. And in this case, I'm looking at my RSI. Uh, the only uh, setting for the RSI is its period, which is defaults to 14. But I can now use my, uh, my mouse to click and drag and change this period interactively. And... Well, you may not want to do that on every single chart all the time. You have the ability when you're learning indicators to do this and very quickly see what's going on. And you can do this with any of the indicators that we have. So right now I have a 200 period uh, moving average here, this red line that you see. But I can um, change that very quickly, very easily. I can see what happens when I make it a short term moving average versus when I make it a longer term moving average, so on and so forth. This, may, this comes more interesting. Let me zoom out for just a minute. And now I can see the red line moving back and forth. Um, same for all of these other ones. Um, so just to just a reminder, a, a lot of the indicator manipulation happens over here on in the indicators panel, and you have the ability to add, remove, or modify your indicators here, and you can modify them uh, by typing, or you can modify them by using the, uh, the slider. I'll show you another example of a slider here in just a minute. I want to point out one other thing while I'm here is that you can close this panel if you want more screen real estate, once you've got your chart the way you like it, everything's good. You can just click again and now the panel is closed and we have much more screen real estate. I'll also point out that there's another panel over on the right. Um, this panel here is uh, allows you to see uh, lists of stocks that are interesting. And so we have market summary information. Later, we're going to have your chart lists. That isn't available quite yet, but we will have it. And also scan results. So when you run our scan engine, bring up results. You'll be able to see those results here. And then you can very quickly just click and change between the symbols. I can go here to the Dow components. And for instance, we can quickly see how Apple's doing, how Caterpillar's doing, so on and so forth. 
All right, um, I'm going to um, progress ahead. I wanted to show you one other feature. Here's a chart um, I've already created ahead of time that shows a lot of indicators on, all on one chart. And while it's great that ACP allows you to show this much, um, it's possible for you to have even more indicators than this. And this is what we call, this is what's called scrunch mode. All of these indicators are kind of crammed into the same window. And as we added more indicators, the price panel got smaller and smaller, which could be okay, or that could be a problem. Um, Tom was showing a chart, a sharp chart earlier in this program where, where he had several indicators on it, and he was able to scroll vertically to see those indicators. So that's, that's what we call scroll mode. So this is scrunch mode, and in scrunch mode, every indicator you add will appear on the screen and we'll, we will resize things to make it fit. In scroll mode, which you get to by clicking here, um, we now have the ability to, the, the, we don't scrunch things. Instead, we keep everything a size so that you can see it and really study it. And we allow you to scroll up and down on the chart. I point this out because it's an example of um, our approach to taking a tool like this and making sure that this tool is super valuable for people that really want to do detailed technical analysis. Um, not everybody cares. If you're just watching charts really quickly, scrunch mode can work well for you. But for the people that really want to dig into a chart and understand all the features and, and what the indicators are saying, getting into scroll mode uh, can really help. So ju I just wanted to point that out quickly. Also point out that um, there are many different um, uh, color schemes. Here I've got several on the, on the screen with some more different indicators. I also, that you have the ability to add more than one chart to your, um, to your window. And you do that with the plus sign right here. We type in a symbol name, and uh, if we want to, we can then hit the plus sign, and that will add in a new charting window like we see over here with IBM. Um, finally, I wanted to also point out the annotation tool, just real quickly. So here's another chart um, that I pulled up. It's got the, um, the volume by price indicator here, which is really nice. It, you see how that kind of dynamically updates as I scroll in and scroll out, which is cool. But I'm also over here and I've enabled the annotation tool. I've clicked on the little pencil, my annotation tools have come out. But what I wanted to tell everyone is that right now, in order to draw annotations, you have to use the, in ACP, you have to use the click model, not the click and drag model. We want to change this and we'll be working on changing this uh, later. But for now, the way it works is you, like I'm drawing a trend line. So I've selected my trend line tool over here. Color and width have been selected. Instead of clicking and dragging, which won't work, and it'll be confusing, you click once, and now my, I'm, my mouse is up, my hand is off the mouse at this point, and I'm just moving the mouse with the button up, and then I click again, and now I've set the trend line that way. So that's how trend lines and other kinds of um, text tools currently work in the annotation area. We're gonna be turning our attention to that, oh, probably in about another month or so, and we're gonna try really hard to make it work like what people I think are, are more used to, which is a click and drag model. But until then, we'll be using this approach. Uh, just quickly, another thing, I'm kind of over on time, but we've got, um, we have our uh, crosshairs and we have our full screen icon. The final thing maybe I'll show you right now is this icon here, you can click on and it will take your chart to be full screen. Let's get rid of this additional panel. And now I've got a chart that's taking up, I've got this panel closed, I've got this panel closed, I've gone full screen. This is a huge chart um, and I can put a whole lot of information on here and study it as much as I want. Really nice, really clean, very interactive. And that's ultimately our goal. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna wrap it up. How'd I do, Tom? You did amazing. I mean, it is, uh, it's, Awesome. As far, you know, as, as you all have gotten in, in the development, and I know when you were on here before, I didn't see a lot of these different features. So I know that everybody behind the scenes is working really hard. Every day there's more work and more improvement. And certainly at least every Friday we'll be releasing a new version. Um, and then it's, sometimes it's more quickly than that. If those of you that want to track it, you can look at the little version number that we have down here. Each time we release a new version, this number will increment. So you can see, uh, see that progress. All right, well, we do have a couple questions. Oh, actually, we have a lot of questions, but we probably only have time for a couple. So I, I picked a couple of them out here. Sure. A uh, question uh, for basic members. When can they start to use ACP? They should be able to use ACP now. Okay, that was easy. 
Um, uh, over time, uh, ACP will mimic the kinds of um, restrictions and and features that that the um, that the Sharp Charts has. In other words, uh, pro members will have more features than extra members, which in turn will have more features than basic members, and in, in turn, all of them will have more features than than non members. Uh, we're in the process of, of, of making those final adjustments now. All right, you showed earlier a one minute chart and how the flexibility with the time periods. The question came in, how many trading days can the one minute bar be used for? For example, can you do it for 10 straight days? Yes, yeah, so it has the exact same uh, um, data feed that Sharp Charts uses. Everything's the same as what people who are familiar with that platform use. We currently um, provide up to 20 days of one minute data, up to um, 60 days of five minute, 10 minute data, and we provide 60 or one hour, two hour, three hour data all the way back to the beginning of the stock, or at least the beginning of our database for the stock. All right, how about saving charts on ACP? That's coming, it's not here yet. Um, that is one of the major features that's still missing. You kind of have to just get things the way you like it and then maybe keep that up in a tab on your browser for now. Uh, down the road, we will be allowing you to save, we will be allowing you to share um, charts, uh, with others uh, via um, social media as well as other platforms and printing. All of this is coming soon. You see the icons down here. Um, also, as I as it's kind of hinted at here, the ability to see your chart lists and, and scroll through them in ACP coming soon as well. We will have a limited capability for you to take a sharp chart and convert it into ACP as well as take an ACP chart and convert it into sharp charts. It will not be a perfect one-to-one -one conversion because there are some, some fundamental differences in the platforms that we won't be able to, to convert. But generally, uh, you will, the charts will be very similar. And so if you have a large number of sharp charts now and you like them, uh, you won't need to recreate them in ACP. We will, we will do the vast majority, if not all of that work for you. All right, one final question, and I promise this was not a question for me. I didn't write this. <laughs> I'm going to piggyback on it, but I didn't write it. Um, from the indicators list, we see PMO, we see MACD, but we don't see the PPO. Um, is that coming? They're all coming. If they're in Sharp Charts, they're absolutely coming to ACP. All right. Um, me. We have a um, we we plan on spending a lot of focus on uh, getting the indicators up to speed in the next um, two to three weeks. That's, that's currently the hope. Um, we're kind of wrapping up some of these user interface issues like that, like those dynamic sliders I was showing you a second ago. Uh, once those are wrapped up and finalized, then we're gonna move on to try and make the indicators, uh, what we call indicator parity. We're gonna be shooting for indicator parity with, with Sharp Charts, so that if you see it on Sharp Charts, you will see the exact same inf information, the exact same calculations on ACP. All right, one final question. I gotta ask this before Wait, you, you already have a final question. <laughs> Do you have a do you have a target date when you think ACB will ACP will be complete? Uh, ACP Sharp Charts isn't complete. ACP will never be complete. All right. Um, in the in the sense of it, um, we will always be adding to these two tools. In the sense of it um, having uh, completion with all the features that we think it really needs to have on its initial release, and when we go to kind of a 1.0 release, we're still shooting for the fall on that. But but stay tuned. And, and the goal though is to, I mean, it's available now. So it's in a sense, uh, you can follow along with us as we continue to, uh, to add features and, and make it available. We will try to add features in a way that uh, the thing will be useful to people uh, maybe before all the features are necessarily available. Sounds good. I know a lot of folks resist change, but this change looks like it's gonna be pretty easy. Uh, you kind of direct yourself around the page and figure things out pretty easily. And by a lot of folks, you mean you, right, Tom? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. And, and again, uh, our, our goal, is st uh, Sharp Charts con continues. If you love Sharp Charts, you don't like any of this, I'm, I get it. That's fine. You can Keep doing what you're doing. You'll be good. All right. Sounds good. Appreciate you stopping by, Chip. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right. Have a good weekend.